Welcome to American Latino TV, where we celebrate American Latino pride. I'm your host, Valerie Ortiz, and I am really excited today because, well, how couldn't I be? I mean, just look at this awesome new set. Reinventing ourselves a bit. Yes, we are. And actually, that's something that we have in common with everybody else on today's show. From a skater turned community hero, to a decorated soldier who came back home only to start off a new and unexpected career in mixed martial arts. And later... What can I say? I'm a Texas boy. I consider myself Tejano. And uh, it's wonderful to see uh, an international event. The music, film, and tech festival that every year turns the city of Austin, Texas on its head. <laughs> Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Valerie Ortiz, and today's show features some amazing stories of reinvention. This one in particular is pretty amazing because reinvention doesn't seem that unlikely when you think about it. Airborne Ranger Sergio Machado, no longer serving in the military, finds a way to apply his extraordinary skills of modern day warrior into the most lucrative fighting franchise around. All right, what else? Mix martial arts. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Coming from a long line of soldiers, no one was surprised to see that Sergio Machado was born with a fighter spirit and a thirst for adventure that had minimal prospects of being quenched with an isolated upbringing. I was brought up in a very religious household and I wasn't allowed to do all the things that normal kids were allowed to do. I was pulled out of school about halfway through middle school and I was homeschooled. So I wasn't out there hanging out with my friends. I was very sheltered and I needed to see the world. I needed to go out there and prove to myself that you know I could hang with the best of them and see what I was really capable of doing. What better than the U.S. Army, right? Before he could find his calling in the military, Sergio had some rough waters he needed to swim through. And his path has been clear ever since. Joining the military, was, it was completely different than what I had imagined it being. Growing up, the only thing that I knew about the military was old school Vietnam War movies. And that was definitely not the military that I joined. It was very scary. It was all of a sudden I went from being very sheltered to completely on your own. I enjoyed the, uh, the challenge. I, I excelled a lot. Matter of fact, I was top of my class during basic training. I had the highest PT score. I ended up getting an airborne ranger contract out of it. I finally found a niche that I did well. After serving his country for 10 years and three tours in Iraq, Sergio's quest for adventure was far from quenched, and complacency was not an option. I didn't join the military and pick a job that was going to be safe. I wanted to do all the, the big and cool guy stuff, and the same thing with fighting. I didn't want to just do it recreationally. I knew that when I was going to pursue this career, I was going to do it as big as I could do it. My military background gives me more of an edge than anybody else in my field, I believe mainly because there's nothing that anybody can do in martial arts to me that hasn't already been done in real life. I've been shot at, I've been blown up, I've been burned, I've been broken, I've been bruised. It's been done. The fighter spirit in Sergio became the driving force behind a successful career in the cages of the country's most competitive MMA tournaments. A career that eventually took the war veteran's leadership training from the battlefield right into his very own fight academy. If you would have talked to me four years ago, I would have told you I'm gonna be a black belt, I'm gonna be a mixed martial artist, but the gym actually started to happen once I started seeing this reality unfold. And it was another Lego piece to, to my dream, so to speak. So here we are standing in my own Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Mixed Martial Arts Academy. I have control of his tricep, closing my elbow, and now I can come across with the arm lock. As Team 3 Fight Academy, we stand for, you know, honor, integrity. Everybody who walks in this door, we consider them our family. You don't have to walk around to be a tough guy. That's not what this is about. This is about, you know, getting everybody who enjoys this sport and teaching them everything they need to teach and learning from them 
and just enjoying it together. Although the former Airborne Ranger has reinvented himself as a teacher and mentor to future generations of fighters, Sergio proudly celebrates the chapter in his life that made him who he is today. Recon Fight Gear is a concept that I came up with when I got out of the military. I wanted to start a clothing company that would pay tribute, especially to the 10 guys that we lost in my platoon. And the name Recon comes from the Recon Scout platoon that we were in. Looking at my life now, I'm happy with what my life is. I wouldn't be here without the hardships. Anything is possible through hard work and dedication, and more importantly, the support that you receive from those around you that love you. Coming up, the hottest musical acts head south to the capital of Texas, only on American Latino TV. <laughs> From a versatile actor who overcame the odds when they were against him, to a dull college town turned celebrated musical mecca. Today's show proves that reinventing yourself is always more sensible when at the core of what is being reinvented was probably already there to begin with. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. Now, if you want to learn more about any one of the stories featured in this episode or any other episode, visit AmericanLatino.tv. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Val's Tweet. That's V-A-L-S Tweet. Creative, right? You like that. All right, until next time. Adios. Ciao.